Hi guys! Today I'll show you how to make stuffed peppers on the stovetop. Usually they're baked in the oven, but I figure not everyone wants to turn on their oven, especially when it's getting hot outside. First, boil water in a large pot, because we will be cooking our peppers for a few minutes before filling them. I'm using two red and two green bell peppers. Try to get ones that are about the same size so they cook evenly. I like to cut them in half lengthwise and fill them. They cook faster this way. Traditionally, the top is cut off and the peppers stand up in the pan. You can really do it either way. Take all the seeds and pith out. Leaving the stem on is pretty for presentation. Our water is boiling. Put the peppers in and cook for five minutes. While the peppers are cooking, let's make a quick tomato sauce. Heat up a pan and pour in two tablespoons of olive oil. Add one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, half a teaspoon Italian seasoning, crush it in your hands. Quarter teaspoon red chili flakes for a little heat. Mix this just for a few seconds. Add in two cups of tomato sauce, quarter teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon sugar. Bring this to a boil and let it simmer just for five minutes. Taste and add more salt or sugar if necessary. Really depends on the acidity of your tomatoes. Our sauce is ready. Turn the heat off and set it aside. After five minutes, the peppers are done. Drain and remove them from the pot. Put them on a plate and leave them aside. Now we'll cook the meat. Heat up a pan and add three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm adding one and a half cups of chopped onion and five large garlic cloves, or two tablespoons. A little salt. Saute this until golden brown. Add half a teaspoon of dried oregano, crush it in your palms, half a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves, one teaspoon of paprika, stir this for a few seconds, quarter teaspoon of red chili flakes. Now I'll add the meat. This is one pound of ground turkey. You can use chicken or any other ground meat you'd like. Half a teaspoon salt. Mix this really well and let it cook. Make sure to break up the meat once in a while. While the meat's cooking, I'm grating one large potato, peeled. Traditionally, rice is used along with the meat, but you need leftover rice or you need to cook fresh rice. The potato is much easier and quicker. This is one and a half cups of grated potatoes. If you have already cooked rice, of course you can use that instead. About one cup of cooked rice. Our meat is cooked. Now add the grated potatoes, half a teaspoon salt, and a pinch or two of chili flakes. I like to season every step of the way. Stir and cook for five minutes. Adjust the salt according to your taste. After five minutes, pour in one cup of the sauce and a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Turn off the heat and mix this well. Now we need a large pan that will fit all of the peppers. Pour in a half a cup of the remaining sauce and a few tablespoons of water. That should cover the bottom of the pan. Put the peppers in. It's a tight fit, but they all make it. Stuff each pepper with the meat mixture. Turn the heat on. Pour the remaining half cup of sauce over the peppers. You'll start to hear the peppers pop a little. The liquid on the bottom of the pan has started boiling. Turn down the heat to medium low. Put a cover on and cook for about 30 minutes. Check after 15 minutes and adjust the heat if you need to. After 30 minutes, check the filling. The potatoes should be cooked. The peppers will be tender but not completely falling apart. Of course, you can cook this longer or shorter depending on how firm you like the peppers. Before serving, add more Parmesan on top. If you'd rather add shredded cheese like cheddar or mozzarella, you can do that and put the cover on just to melt the cheese. I use a big spoon to get the peppers out of the pan. We'll cut into one. The peppers are tender. The meat and potatoes are delicious and flavored very well. The sauce is almost caramelized. This is such a comforting and satisfying meal. I really hope you give this a try and let me know how you liked it. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.